Today I'm going to show you how to upload a start list to webscorer.com to use for cross country carnivals. If you go to the top menu you'll see help resources and scroll down to sample files. This is where we're going to download a start list from. There's two options for downloading start lists. There's individual races and relay races. You can download in a TXT format or an Excel format. I'm going to download an Excel format. Down the bottom you should be able to open your Excel format. If you want to enter into the spreadsheet you'll need to enable the editing at the top. I'm going to open a sample spreadsheet that I've already created. In the spreadsheet you'll see a number of columns in which you'll need to enter data. The first column is the name, there's first name, last name, the team name, I normally use our house names. There's a second team name, which I've used our school name. Gender, age, distance, and you can assign a bib number if you'd like to. Once you've entered all the data, you need to save the document so it can be uploaded to webscorer.com. This needs to be saved as a text document. So the save type should be Unicode text and make sure you give the document a name. I've already saved a sample, so I'm going to hit cancel instead. We're going to go back to web scoring now to race organizers and my start list. I'm already logged in, but make sure you log in before you try to do this. I'm going to post a TXT start list. You can see two start lists have already been posted. Once I've hit the menu, I'm going to choose my file. Remember we're adding the txt file. Select the file, click open and upload. Now we need to put in some details to the race. So we're going to give the race a name and we're going to put a map location. Use the map to drag across and click on the map the location of the event. Next we need to set the race date. So you can choose from the calendar, the race time, select the time zone, the sport type, this is set at running cross country so this is our event so we'll leave it set and the start type, we're going to have a mass entry so we'll leave it here. You can choose race visibility, we're going to keep ours with public. We can show handicap results if we'd like to. My race doesn't have handicap results. We're not going to worry about that. Type in the name of the race organizer. You can add a website. You can choose to upload an image or add notes. If you select post start list, this is going to post your start list to the web. So you can see here that my start list has been posted with all of my participants that were in the Excel format. I can print this page, I can download the start list, or I can edit the info. The start list will now be available in the WebScorer Pro app, ready to start timing the race.